Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I want to talk about an important realization, an important observation that I had on my carnivore experiment. If you're new to the channel, let me give you a little bit of background. Before my carnivore experiment, I was vegan for around about four years. And during that time, obviously, needless to say, you believe that vegetables are the end all be all. You believe that you rely on vegetables. What else? You don't have any other option. And therefore, you put the importance onto beans, legumes, nuts, seeds, fruits, leafy greens, and whatnot. Right? You think that those are the foods that you need to survive. Then, after realizing that that was a bunch of bullshit and my health ultimately failed completely, I had to make adjustments. Adjustments meant the reintroduction of animal foods, starting with egg, reintroducing fish, and then moving slowly towards meat. But I still had the carbohydrates in there. Some rice, some veggies, some potatoes, other starches, some fruits, so on and so forth. So, pretty quickly I had to realize that yes, my mood was improved, I felt better overall, but still my digestion wasn't perfect and therefore I gave the carnivore diet a shot. After three days on the carnivore diet, I experienced so much relief for the first time in years. My digestion was flawless, absolutely perfect, absolute no stomach upset and most importantly, I didn't have to run to the toilet three, four, five, six, or even seven times per day. To paint a picture, as a vegan, I had diarrhea for eight months straight. Yes, I'm tired myself of talking about it, but it is important information. People need to know that those symptoms are caused by veganism, nothing else. Once I started reintroducing the animal foods, my digestion stabilized and I was going to the toilet maybe twice, maybe three times per day, but only through the carnivore diet, only through the elimination of all those fibrous foods, I finally could go to the toilet like a normal person, once per day. So guys, now let me talk about the realization that I reached after being on the carnivore diet. When you are on the carnivore diet, obviously you're not eating any vegetables, no plant matter whatsoever. And you're fine. Not only are you fine, you're pretty damn good. You feel fantastic. So how can that be, right? If vegetables are so important, if you have to eat at least five fruits per day, how is it that I'm first and foremost still alive during the carnivore diet and secondly feel better than I ever did? That puts things into perspective. Needless to say, out of a sudden you realize that you truly do not need any vegetables or fruits in order to be healthy. If you need a certain amount of organ meats on the carnivore diet, that is debatable depending on how much you eat. Essentially, you can find all the minerals, vitamins, essential fatty acids in muscle meat as well, as long as you eat enough. Of course, it is a bit harder to reach. I always recommend to supplement at least with eggs or dairy or really nutritious foods such as salmon roe. But that being said, you realize that you really do not need any vegetables in order to thrive. Quite the opposite. And this must be single-handedly the biggest benefit of the carnivore diet. I did the top 10 benefits on the carnivore diet. You can click here. I'm going to link it if you haven't watched that video. But this would be an additional benefit because out of a sudden you reach freedom. You truly understand what food is. Food is supposed to build your body. Food is supposed to nourish your body. Building blocks, essential fatty acids, amino acids. All of that is found in animal foods. None of that is in plant matter. There is a good reason why we traditionally have been eating vegetables, fruits and such as additives to our meal not as full meals. Nobody ever relied on beans or lentils as their bulk in calories. Of course, you have some poor countries nowadays that are eating that way, but those people are far from healthy, needless to say. So guys, really ask yourself the question, what is in vegetables? What is in fruits that you would need? Every time I hear the word phytonutrients, 
I have to cringe. There is no such thing. Guys, there are only, and I repeat, only essential amino acids and essential fatty acids. There are no essential carbohydrates and more than that, there are no essential phytonutrients. There is no such thing. We can call it what it is. It is phytochemicals. And are there medicinal properties? Are there psychedelic properties to those plants? Yes, of course there are. Of course there are. There could be a place for those plants in terms of medicine. But that's what those plants are. They're medicine. They're not food. And I don't want you to quote Hippocrates. Let medicine be thy food and food thy medicine. No. Medicine is not food. Medicine is medicine. Food should sustain you and keep you healthy, so you do not need medicine. That is food. Simple as that. So guys, you see it in all the vegans. After a while, we get deprived. We get malnourished. I was there myself for four years. I was suffering. So now ask yourself the question. If we're eating everything we need, why do we see those symptoms over and over and over again? Over and over again, the same symptoms. If veganism is so healthy and we really rely on those plant foods, why do we see the same symptoms? Ask yourself the question, even as a vegan, do you need lentils to be healthy? Probably not, right? Okay, do you need beans to be healthy? Probably not, right? You could survive without them. Do you need certain fruits to be healthy and if yes what is the nutrient in those fruits that you need for survival which is it right if you claim that a banana is the healthiest food that you should eat and you rely on it you need it for your health you need it for survival then please let me know what is in that banana that you need for survival the sugars of course not what else there is nothing in it the essential amino acids and the essential fatty acids are minuscule in that banana. That will never nourish you. You cannot eat enough bananas to get enough DHA, EPA, vitamin D, vitamin A, so on and so forth. It is impossible. So therefore, you can move through the plant kingdom as much as you want to, as much as you like, and you won't find one single food item that you need for your survival. It is impossible. Nuts full with anti-nutrients. Same goes for beans. The only things that you can get away with partially are fruits. But then again, you see the long-term study, if you will, the real long-term study, if you look at fruitarians. You will see what happens if you rely on those foods. So then you will say, nah, it is not about eating only fruits. We should eat a whole food plant-based diet. Yeah, sure. That will lead to more inflammation, more stomach upset, more depression. It is always the same. Guys, really look at your plate and you will realize that none of those plant foods are essential for your survival. And no, if you mix them together and you bunch everything into a colorful pot, it is not essential for your survival either. It is all bullshit. It is all a lie. It is all a scam. It truly is. And I really thought that I'm not going to do any anti-vegan content any longer. But every time I think about it, it just seems more and more ridiculous, more and more obscure. It is so strange to look at it, that people have been fooled into believing that fruits and vegetables are the only food group that they should eat. Meanwhile, you realize that there is nothing essential in them. And guys, let me make one thing very, very clear here. I'm not against carbohydrates. If you want to be a bodybuilder, which is a unnatural approach already. Sure, eat some rice, eat some carbs, of course. If you enjoy fruits, eat some fruits. I do it too sometimes, no worries. But it is about the understanding and the realization that there is no essential need to them other than pleasure, nothing else. And that is the single most important benefit of the carnivore diet. As I said, to wrap it up, to bring it home, it is about understanding that you do not rely on vegetables or fruits. The only thing that you rely on is animal flesh because you are made out of animal flesh. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little rant. If so, leave it a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. There's much more content coming out, more about the carnivore and the vegan diet, of course, but mainly we are moving forward. As I showed in previous videos, we see where our food truly comes from. We go to the farms, we go to the fields and we explore life truly firsthand we see how healthy food is produced and along the way we see how traditional cultures still practice animal husbandry at the moment here in the balkans in macedonia all right guys this is it as always much love and peace